All right, I think these are going to be pretty exciting. Uh, I saw them on eBay and I couldn't pass them up. They were less than $3 each. So I bought two of them. And when I got the package today, I got three of them. So that's pretty cool. Now, I think people out there who knows what, who know what these are will be pretty excited about that price point. Um, and so this box looks like it may have been opened up once. There, the cool part is that these are new, new in the box. The, these are not, these are not pulled out of a radio. These aren't used. These, these are brand new in the box. Can you read that? Let me, let me go down a little bit farther. All right. Filter, bandpass, one each. Collins Radio Company. Cedar Rapids. Uh, so these are IF filters and they're not actually IF filters. They're AF filters. These are 700 Hertz audio filters. Brand new in the box. <laughs> oh, wow. I am so excited to see these things. Now, if you don't know what a 700 Hertz filter is, you know what an IF filter is? I showed you the diagrams of, of mixers and then an IF and having a very narrow bandpass. And, and so really good uh, filters will have narrow, narrow bandpasses. So you can get CW filters that have a 500 hertz wide filter or a 250 hertz wide filter. And then it comes through and that kills out a lot of the noise and then it gets down to the audio band. Well, these radios had an audio filter on them. So they had a 700 hertz filter on them so that just the tone of the CW uh, would, would, would come through. And I remember back in the day when I was really into ham radio, I remember building my own. I had a, a box with a speaker in it and it had a like a Salen key bandpass filter with op amps and stuff as a 700 hertz active filter but these are the real deal these are mechanical filters <laughs> if you don't know what a mechanical filter is well maybe we'll show you um let me zoom out a bit here okay now we're taking it apart um I think this one's the one that was opened up so they could photograph it. So, uh, let's see here. Let's zoom back down again. Can you read that? Grade one, class A bandpass filter. 735 to 865 cycles per second before Hertz. <laughs> so it's an 800 Hertz filter. Plus and minus 35, yeah, plus and minus 35 hertz. Plus and minus 35 hertz. That is so cool. Uh, 600 ohms to 600 ohms. Um, and so in, C, and out, so a common. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. These are amazing. Okay, I'm sure not everybody gets this excited about the filters, but the heft of these, I mean, these are, these are super cool. These are uh, exactly one inch thick, three, two and two and three quarters uh, long and, and uh, one and three quarters wide um, and nice heft to them. And they're sealed um, and they've never been soldered. They've never been touched. These are, these are Brand new. Here we go. October of 1955. New in the box from 1955. Wow. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to try one of these out. That is way cool. All right, and I got three of them. Oh my God. Um, so I, I bought two of them, figuring I'd use one and I would rip one apart, but now they're so beautiful. I don't know if I want to rip one apart. I might have to anyway, just for the channel. I mean, they were, they were only $3 and I got one for free. I guess that's an omen. Take the free one and open it up. Oh, it'll be hard to do. It'll be really hard to do. Um, yeah, so 
mechanical filters. Um, there will be a little thing in them, like a tuning fork, and the, the audio waves will come in and, and those things will start to vibrate and they will mechanically couple. So if this one, this one will only vibrate at a certain frequency. It, it, its length of tuning fork is fixed. And it'll only couple into this one because its length of tuning fork is fixed. And then there'll be maybe six of those in here. And so, uh, yeah, wow. And uh, Collins was, now I don't know which radio this was an option in. It must have been a really, really expensive one because I don't remember seeing a radio that had this as a as an option as as a knob twist on the front of the radio, 700 hertz or 800 hertz filter. Wow. Wow. Okay, let me uh, let me fiddle around with it and see if I can get it to uh, pass some audio frequencies. All right, I put some clip leads on it and. Uh, it's going to go over here to the oscilloscope. I have it loaded with 800 ohms and I'm sweeping it. And look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So uh, let me turn off the trigger. I'll have to take a look at that. There we go. So what are we looking at? We are looking at a sweep from this little blip here to here in hundreds of increments. So this is 300. Four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred hertz. So it's peaking at eight hundred, and it is as advertised. Uh, wow, <laughs> amazing! That is that is just super cool. Um, yeah.